beautiful people out there. I'm here again to bless the name of the Lord and encourage you in the Lord. Hallelujah. We are today dealing on part two, the person of Holy Spirit, part two. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I pray and hope everyone is well and doing well to the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. How has been your day? How are you coping? The Lord is your strength. Don't give up. Don't give up. Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. He loves you and he'll help you and he'll be there for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, thank you, Father. We worship you. We bless you. We honor you. We give you all the glory, all the adoration. We worship you. We bless you, Jehovah. We thank you for everything. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for what you've been doing in our lives. Thank you for what you are doing right now. Thank you for what you are about to do. We glorify you. We lift your name high. There is no like the ancient of days. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We honor you. Thank you, Jesus. Forever you reign. Forever is your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, come and take control. Tool. Come and have your way. Come and sanctify every soul. Sanctify every environment. Purify us inside that. To the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you. We bless you for who you are. Thank you for all you've doing for us. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for good sleep. Thank you for good rest. Thank you for your provisions. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for all that you've been doing for us, Jehovah. Thank you for our good health, oh Jehovah. Thank you for long life. Thank you for sound mind. Thank you, Jehovah, for forgiving our sins. Thank you for washing us in the blood of Jesus. Thank you for making us whole. Thank you, Jehovah. Forever we shall love you. Forever we shall honor you. Through the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Father, be thou lifted high. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. Be thou magnified. Forever you reign. Forever is your holy name. Forever is your holy kingdom. Through the power of the Holy Ghost, we have prayed with us for thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Open the eyes of my heart, O Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you, Lord. I want to see you, Lord. To see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing. Holy, 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 as we sing, holy, 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 I want to see you, Lord, I want to see you, Lord, open the eyes of my heart, oh Lord, Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you, Jesus. I want to see you, Almighty God. To see you high. Lifted up. Mm. To see you high. And lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. Pour out your love and power. Pour out your power and love. As we sing, holy, holy, holy. Pour out your wonderful power and love. Pour out your wonderful love and power. Pour out your anointing upon us as we sing holy, 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 our God is holy, holy, our God is holy, 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 I want
want to see you, Lord. I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to see you. So open the heart of my Open the eyes of my heart because I want to see you, O oh Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to hold you. I want to praise you. I want to honor you for you alone is God Almighty. In the name of Jesus, amen. I never know he will honor me this way. I never know he will honor me this way. I never know, but Jesus will honor me this way. Honor me this way. Honor me this way. Bless me this way. Bless me this way. Touch me this way. Touch me this way. Heal me this way. Heal me this way. Bless me this way. Bless me this way. Honor me this way. Honor me this way. Honor me this way. Honor me this way. Favor me this way. Favor me this way. Favor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God, for all you've done for us, for all you've done for me, for all you've done for all of us. Thank you, thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Almighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go going now. Part two, the person of the Holy Spirit. The Heading of this is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The baptism of Holy Spirit is very important in the life of a Christian. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the title of this, the person of the Holy Spirit for part two. The baptism of the Holy Spirit, or you can call it the baptism of which is overflowing by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Point one. I have four points on this. Point one. Jesus gives us the Holy Spirit. It is Jesus Christ who gives us the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So don't play with it. I have Bible verses to support it. Point two. When Christians receive the baptism of the Spirit, what happens? Hallelujah. Point three, receiving the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And point four, the Spirit is often given by laying on hands. When there are elders of church or pastors or people who are anointed in God's presence, they can lay hands on you and you can receive the Holy Spirit. And you can also Acquaint yourself with the Bible and the person of the Holy Spirit will come to you and send in you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And you will feel you will be filled with God's power, God's anointing, God's knowledge, and God will equip you to do his work. Because the only thing God has called us to do is two things. To praise him. That is why he created us. Isaiah 43, verse 21. I have created this people. To declare my praise. We're supposed to praise God 24 hours. Worship Him 24 hours. Hallelujah. Wherever we are. Worship God anywhere you are. Anywhere. Whether in the house, at work, wherever you are. Thank God. Bless Him. For the life we have today. Many people went to bed. They didn't get up. For the beautiful natures and creations you can see. Thank God. Hallelujah. That's why we are created to thank God 24-7. We are created as to be His pleasure. He created us for it to be his pleasure. Hallelujah. Number two, he created us again to be witnesses, witnesses for him unto all the nations of the world. To bring people who have not known Christ to him. Hallelujah. That's what he has created us. According to Proverbs 11 verse 30. The only time a man is wise is when he wins souls for God. 
We wait so for God to the power of the Holy Ghost for Jesus. God has big rewards for you here on earth and in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Proverbs 11.30. It says, the only time a man is wise. Imagine God calling human being wise. Human being who is nothing. God commands us when we are wise. And that is the only time. We are wise when we win souls, when we witness for him and win souls for him. Hallelujah. So these two things, that's the reason why we are living. Not just to come and eat food, eat the best of the food and wear the best of clothes. That is not why we are created. Enjoy the riches of the world. No. We are created to be closer to God who has created us. Because at that last day, the word of God will judge every man and ask you, this is how have you been living? Did you live to please God? Did you live to please yourself? Did you live to please other human beings? Or to please God? We are created to please God. We are God's pleasure. We are to live to fear God and not to fear any human being. Because God is the only one who can give us life. God is the only one who can take away our life and nobody else. So we are created to fear God, to praise Him, to honor Him, listen to Him, obey Him, and trust in Him to the first seven. And it shall be well with our souls in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So these four points. Let me give you Bible verses quickly. Matthew, 10, Matthew chapter 3, verse 11 says, He, Jesus, shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ is saying himself, He will baptize you with the Holy Ghost once you come to him and accept him as your personal Savior and as the Lord of your life. He will baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. This is not me saying it. This is the word of God. Hallelujah. Let's go to Luke 24. When you reach verse 49, he said, I send the promise of my father upon you. You shall be endured with power from on high. Hallelujah. This is Jesus saying this. He has sent the promise of his father to us. We'll be endured with power. We'll be clothed with power. We'll be empowered with heavenly power to do the work of God without any fear. To praise God, to witness for God, to live the life that God wants us to live. In order to please Him, He has given us that power. And that power is from heaven through the Holy Spirit. It's God, Jesus, sent Holy Spirit to us. He said, I will send you a comforter who will comfort you, who will teach you, who will direct you, who will embolden you, who will guide you, who will mentor you. Hallelujah! That's exactly what Jesus did. He kept his promise and that promise came to pass in our lives today. You too can receive Holy Spirit once you receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and the Holy Spirit will begin to work wonders in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go to John 7. If you read that 8 and 39, say, out of the out of his belly flow rivers of living water. Hallelujah. Out of his belly flows the rivers of living water, which is the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Out of the belly of Jesus Christ flows the rivers of living water. Hallelujah. The water that will give you life. The living water, the living stone, the living bread. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit will equip you and anoint you with that special power that you use to work for God and even perform miracles and heal the sick. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go to John 7, 38 to 39. Okay, we read that one. Out of the belly flows rivers of living water, which is the spirit of living God. Let's go to John 14, verse 16. I will pray the Father, and he shall give you a comforter. Jesus said he will pray that our Heavenly Father will give us a comforter. And that's exactly what happened. When Jesus ascended to his Father in heaven, he immediately, without wasting time, he sent us a comforter, which is Holy Spirit, to stay on earth with us to, until the work of God is done. Hallelujah. Until the whole work of God is done. And the coming, second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ will be very soon. Hallelujah. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot do the work of God. Hallelujah. It's the Spirit that quickens us. It's the Spirit that makes us alive. It's the Spirit that directs and help us and support us to do the work of God, to the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. That's why the Bible says that it's not by might and it's not by power, but by spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Everything is by spirit. Hallelujah. It's in the beginning. How the Holy Spirit hovers on top of the waters 
and God immediately said, let there be light. And there was light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit is powerful. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. So never you offend Holy Spirit in any way. In Jesus' name. Amen. Say, so I will send you a comfort. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John 16, 7 again said, I will send you the comforter unto you. And Jesus did send us comforter, who is this Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Acts 2, when you read 1 to 4, it says, Spirit poured out on Christians on the day of Pentecost. On the day of Pentecost, the Spirit of God poured on men and women of God. And they started speaking in tongue. And they were fully empowered by Holy Spirit. They were fully anointed. They were filled with the fire, holy fire of God from above to do the work of God without fears, with boldness, with confidence, to please God. Because this is why we are created. Hallelujah. That's why we are, that's how we are created. That's the reason why we are created to do the job for God. And God has to give us that power from above. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says, by strength shall no man prevail. We cannot do anything by our own strength, but God's special power from Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. When the Spirit of God is sending us, living us, abiding us, we'll be able to perform what God wants us to do because it's the Spirit of God that will be directing us. But we say the steps of a righteous man are directed by God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. May God direct yourselves in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go to point two quickly. When Christians receive the baptism of the Spirit, hallelujah. Acts 8, verse 15 and 17 say, Samaritans baptized with the Spirit after salvation. Hallelujah. After the Samaritans have been baptized with water, it's been, it's, it was baptized immediately with the Spirit of God and received that great salvation, anointing, that power, that boldness. That confidence to carry out the duty of God. In this, so shall it be in your life, in my life, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Acts 19 verse 2 says, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you baptized? This is the question being asked to those who have been baptized. I can ask you the same question today as a Christian. Have you received the Holy Ghost? Have you received the Holy Ghost, the Holy Fire? Have you received the Holy Spirit in you as a child of God? Or are you just a Christian for Mark? Because without the power of the Holy Spirit abiding in you, you can do nothing. Hallelujah. Have you received the baptism of Holy Ghost? Or just the baptism of water? The baptism of water is not enough. You need the baptism of Holy Ghost. So be able to carry God's duty fearlessly, with confidence, with boldness, with understanding. With the wisdom of God, not a wisdom as man we give. When you are doing God's work, you don't need wisdom of flesh. You don't need understanding of the flesh. You need the wisdom of God, the way God sees things. Hallelujah. But we say that Daniel has an excellent spirit. And you'll be having excellent spirit. Spirit of truth. Spirit to speak truth all the time. Spirit to believe and trust God all the time. That is the spirit you have in you to carry out the work of God for the glory of the living God in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go to Acts chapter 10. If you go to verse 44 and read to 46. Hallelujah. Colinus, Colinus, his household was filled with the Holy Spirit. At the same time, they received Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Some people may receive Jesus Christ as a personal Savior. The Holy Spirit will abide and descend in you. The same thing happened to me too. On the day of my baptism, the Holy Spirit will descend upon me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Everything depends on your heart. How committed you are. How much love you have for God. And how you sell out for Jesus. For me, I'm sold out for Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'll forever be sold out for Jesus. And God is looking for those who will be radical for him, who will be sold out for him to do the work that he expects us to do. And that is why we call us wise people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't wait until the, the people that they ask, have you received Holy Ghost since you, since you received baptism? And they say they have not. Try everything to be able to receive the Holy Spirit 
Immediately the Savior Jesus Christ, I said, I pray tonight, Savior, and he shall be well with you. And because his Holy Spirit will quicken you and make things alive in you and take away the fears of this world and give you only the fear of God and give you understanding and knowledge of God and equip you to do God's work for the glory of the living God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Colinus and his household, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately the Savior Jesus Christ, they were anointed, hallelujah, with holy fire. They were emboldened, giving confidence to do God's work without fears. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you see some people who say they are Christians and they are still afraid to preach the word of God, to witness to people, or to do God's work, or to stand up for truth, they have not received the power of the Holy Spirit. So do everything you can. Ask God to help you to receive Holy Spirit as a Christian because it will help you to love God more, to do the work of God. And the reward of such person is in here and in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's go to point three. Receiving the Holy Spirit. Let's go to Acts 19. When you read verse 1 to 2, you say, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And they say, No. You see that receiving the Holy Spirit is very important. That's why they're asking. Today I'm asking you the same thing. Since how many years or how many days or how many weeks or months you received Jesus Christ, have you received Holy Spirit? Have you received the power of the Holy Ghost in you? If you haven't received, do something about it. Go into prayer, serious prayers, and ask God who gives all wisdom. Who gives all wisdom? To anybody who asks, Hallelujah, glory be to God, Amen. Hallelujah. Luke eleven. If you read nine to thirteen, say if you know how to give good gifts, how much more shall God give Holy Spirit to them that ask Him? If you, as a human being, we know how to good give, give good gifts to our friends, our families, our children, how much more our Heavenly Father? If you ask Him the gift of Holy Spirit, gift of wisdom, He'll give to you. Gift of knowledge, gift of power, gift of anointing, gift of praying for others, gift of fasting, He'll give to you. Gift of having good attitude, having good will. Gift of loving others. Gift of loving God. God will give it to you if you ask him. If you, a human being, knows how to give good things to your own friends and children and family, how much more our Heavenly Father, who is good and perfect. For Bible says that every good gift and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of light, in whom there's no invariableness and there's no shadow of turning. Our God has no unrighteousness in him. He has no discrimination in him. He has no racism in him. He has no hatred in him. Our God is full of love. He's God of love. So if you ask him anything by faith, he will give it to you. So you need the Holy Spirit to be able to overcome this world. Without the Holy Spirit, the devil will slap you left and right. You'll be falling into temptations and you'll not be able to come out. But when you have Holy Spirit, any temptations, any trials, any trouble, any issues will be under your foot through the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen. For all power belongs to God. Bible say, once has it spoken, twice have we heard that all powers belong to God alone. All authority belongs to Him. It's called all sovereign God, all knowing God, all powerful God, almighty God. He's everything. There's nothing that happened in the universe without Him knowing. He knows everything. He's very powerful. He's very sovereign. In him, everything consists. Everything exists in him. There's nothing that exists that is not in God. Everything that exists is in God. For he created everything. For he made everything. Hallelujah. So if you ask him anything sincerely in your heart, he will give it to you. For he's a loving and kind Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Ha, mama. This is my best. Our body is the temple of God. Our body is the body of Christ. Our body is the body of God, the temple of God. Holy Spirit dwells in us, living in us. Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew, we are called little gods. Serving big gods. We are little gods. He that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. 
Jehovah, re wa kaya ma sekete bobo. Our body is the temple of God. Because God is well in us. So whatever I ask God, he will give it to you. Don't be ignorant. And don't be arrogant, don't be stubborn, don't be disobedient. Hallelujah. Don't let Satan darken your heart. Holy Spirit dwells in us. Hallelujah. Guiding us, helping us. So ask anything in the name of Jesus, you will get it. Our God is a loving God. He said, I've loved you with everlasting love. And with loving kindness, I'll join you to myself. There's nothing you ask God that will be of God's glory that God will not give to you. Hallelujah. Anything that you ask that will please God, God will give it to you. He will not withheld any good things from you. Ask him for wisdom. Ask him how to love others. Ask him how to love him. Ask him his wisdom, his knowledge, his power, anointing, how to do things. He will give to you. Many times, many things are lost within our house. I'll ask God to direct me where those things are. God will direct me instantly and I'll get those things. Hallelujah. He will speak wisdom into you, good idea into you. He'll give you excellent spirit like that of Daniel. It is God that gave Daniel excellent spirit. Hallelujah. I always pray and say, may the spirit of God dwell in me every day. May God give me the good heart like Jesus. Give me a beautiful heart like Jesus. Give me excellent heart like Daniel to the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians 5, if you read 18, B, say, be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit. Hallelujah. You must be filled with the Spirit. And if you cannot be filled with the Spirit, ask God to give you Holy Spirit of His to fill you in. So you'll be able to carry God's work. You'll be able to live without fear. You'll be able to live and be empowered by God. And you have confidence to excel in everything that you want to do for the glory of the living God in Jesus' name. Amen. Be filled right now. Stretch my hand out. Be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit right now in the name of Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. For your body is a temple of God through the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answer prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go to the last point of this part two. The Spirit is often given by laying on of hands. The Spirit of God is often given by laying on Laying on, laying on of hands when the elders of the church are praying and you ask them that you want to have Holy Spirit, they will lay hands on you and the Spirit of God will descend on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But before then, pray well before you come to church. Pray well, even when you are in your house and ask for Holy Spirit. Pray sincerely in truth. God will descend Holy Spirit on you, even in your own house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But people can, people of God can lay hands on you and can receive Holy Spirit because God anointed men and women are filled of Spirit of God, filled of Holy Fire of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They have been anointed to anoint people of God. Hallelujah. Because people's measure of receiving is different. Some people want somebody to lay hands physically before they receive. Some people, by calling the name of God, they receive it. In confidence. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He gives everybody measure of everything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's go to Acts chapter 8. Verse 15 to 17 says, Peter and John laid hands on the Samaritan believers. Hallelujah. All those Samaritan believers, when they prayed for them, and ministered to them about God. Peter and John laid hands on every one of them. And they all received Holy Spirit. The Holy Fire fall upon them. The anointing of God fall upon them. The boldness of God fall upon them. The power of God from heaven fall upon them. Because their body is already the temple of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes you don't know. That's why you don't ask. But if you know, you have to ask. Hallelujah. Ask. Can I receive Holy Spirit? Don't just wait that, oh, it's for special people. It's for everyone who has received Jesus Christ as their personal Savior and as their Lord of their lives. 
they have the power. They have been given the power to be called the children of God, sons and daughters of God, to receive the power of God, to receive the anointing of God that is from above. Hallelujah. The anointing of God has fallen upon me to preach the good news of God. Hallelujah. To tell every creature about Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so shall it be in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. For Mark 16, 15 says, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel of God. Our Lord Jesus Christ to every creature. Hallelujah. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to all creatures. You can't do it on your own. You have to do it with the power of God from above, from Holy Spirit descending on you, you directing you and helping you. Hallelujah. Without Holy Spirit, you cannot do the work of God. You need the power from heaven, and that is the Holy Spirit work for you in Jesus' name. Amen. So the Samaritans were able to receive. Holy Spirit, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, because, because Peter and John laid hands on them. So you too, you can be laid hands on if you want, or you can lay hands on yourself and pray in your house or in the church, and Holy Spirit will be upon you. Just believe your heart and open your heart to receive Jesus Christ. That's why I sang that song. Open the hearts, open the eyes of my heart, O oh Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you, Lord. I want to see you, Lord. I want to see you, Lord. I want to see you, Almighty God. I want to see you, Jesus. To see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. For at your power and love, as we sing, holy, 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 as we sing, holy, 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 I want to see you, Lord. For our God is the only holy God, nobody else. No human being is holy, no human being is righteous. Only God is holy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Our holiness will be completed today on the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ when you resurrect every man and every woman and give us according to our works on earth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's go to the last verse. Let's go to Acts chapter 19, verse 6. Paul laid hands on Ephesian believers as well, and they all received the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is anointing we are talking about. Special anointing on the people of God. Hallelujah. You see that Peter and John lay hands on the Samaritan believers and they all were filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. And now, Paul laid hands on Ephesian believers. They all received the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. This is God in action for his people. This is God in action for his people. Glory and honor be to God who lives forever and ever. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Our God is excellent. Our God is forever and ever. Hallelujah. There's nobody like our God. He lives to touch us. He lives to change us. He lives to anoint us. He lives to empower us. He lives to give us enough grace to carry on this new day in the name of Jesus. Our God is more than able. If we ask him anything that will be in a a lie with his word, he will give it to you. Hallelujah. If Peter and John laid hands on Samaritan believers and they all received the power of the Holy Ghost, and Paul now laid hands on believers, Ephesians believers, and they all received the power of the Holy Ghost, you too can do the same. I too can do the same through the power of the Holy Ghost. For our God is not a God of discrimination. It's not a God of unrighteousness. It's not a God of racism. Hallelujah. He's God that loves all of his people. He loves everyone and he cares for everyone. And he wants everyone to come to him and know him so that he will sanctify us and cleanse us. He did not make us to die. He made us to live with him forever and ever. That's why the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ will be to regenerate all of us, renew us in a glorious body. Hallelujah. And present us to our God. And we will live with God forever and ever. Nothing of this work can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening. God bless you. I love you all. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you forevermore. Hallelujah. Hey, hey.
my friends, if I receive just because I say a person that said I want to say congratulations, it's the best gift you can ever receive. This gift of God does not expire. It's whatever and ever. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bible says that we have all sinned before God and we are all short of God's glory. According to Romans 3, 23. Hallelujah. And Romans 6, 23 says that the wages of sin is death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ alone. Only through Jesus Christ. Not through any other thing. Only through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The gift of God is eternal life. And that special gift of eternal life is through Jesus Christ, his son, the Lamb of God, that take away the sins of the world. May Jesus be a portion in Jesus' name. May that gift of life be a portion in Jesus' name. Amen. I would like to, if you would like me to lead you to Christ, please bow down your head. Hallelujah. I want you to repent, confess your sins to Jesus, and tell him that you forsake, you are ready to forsake your sins in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to confess and pray after me. Dearest everlasting Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. And I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ died for my sins to set me free. I believe that you raised him from dead for my justification, for my transformation, and for my restoration through the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. And today, in my whole heart, I'm inviting you, Jesus, to be my personal Savior, to be the Lord of my life, to cleanse me, to make me whole, to forgive me all my sins, to wash me in the blood of Jesus, and make me a member of your holy family through the power of the Holy Ghost. I give you thanks, I give you praises. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with us for thanksgiving. Amen. If you have said this prayer sincerely in your heart, my friends out there, congratulations. Our Lord Jesus Christ will come and dwell in you through the power of the Holy Ghost. The joy of the Lord that flows from the Holy Ghost will be upon you, will be a portion. And the peace of God that passes through understanding will be yours. And the grace of God that is so sufficient and more than enough will be yours in the name of Jesus. Congratulations. I will encourage you to find a local church, a Bible believed church where you can meet the pastor of the church and congregate with congregations and serve the Lord, the sincerity and the truth. And they'll give you Bible so that you read the word of God and the, the word of God will nourish your soul and give you wisdom of knowledge and the power of God. And you receive the baptism of water and baptism of Holy Spirit through the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Congratulations. Don't forget that you can download Bible in your gadgets laptops, iPads, tablets, computer, any gadgets that you have, you can download Bible. And King James Bible is the best. All of them are good, but King James Bible is the best. So you can nurture yourself with the Word of God. For Bible says in John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. And the word was God himself. When you read the word of God, you are studying about God, to have relationship with God, to have friendship with God. To make God your sovereign God. Hallelujah. To make God your sovereign God over your life. To make God to be the head of your life, the head of your family. To make God to be the one to rule you and reign in you everywhere you go. In the name of Jesus. Father, bless your people. Shine your face upon them. Keep them safe from every pandemic and every sickness and disease in the name of Jesus. Father, shine your face upon your people. Be gracious to them. Help them to be at the right place at the right time every day of their lives in the name of Jesus. Deliver them from every problem in the name of Jesus. Heal them from any sickness and disease in the name of Jesus. Deliver them from every issues of life that is not of God in the name of Jesus. I cover them all in the blood of Jesus. I soak everyone in the blood of Jesus. I ask the power of God that's from heaven to the power of the Holy Ghost to rest upon you right now and shine the light of God upon you in the name of Jesus. May God Almighty bless you going and bless you coming in and favor you going out and favor you coming in. In the name of Jesus. May God help you to be a rich child of God and serve God in truth 
and in spirit through the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. May God give you the peace of God that passes every understanding. And may you excel in all that you do for the glory of the living God in Jesus' mighty name. I have prayed with all super, 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 super thanksgiving, super, super, super thanksgiving to super almighty God, to super almighty God who lives forever and ever. Amen. Thank you everyone for watching. I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to make lovely comments, to glorify the name of the Lord. May God bless you and make you strong. Don't give up. Don't give up. For Jesus Christ loves you so much. Don't give up. 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 For Jesus Christ loves you. He cares for you. Don't give up. He loves you with everlasting love. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I love you all. Jesus loves you. Happy, super, glorious, fruitful. Mother's Day to all the mothers all over the world. All the good mothers with good hearts all over the world. God bless you all. I love you all. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, love you, love me, love you, love me, love you, love me, love you, love you, love you, love me. Jesus Christ, love you, love me, love you forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't give up. Don't give up. Hold on to Jesus. He loves you and he cares for you in Jesus' name. Amen.